people with oh yeah hi everyone welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video this is a little bit different for me and perhaps a little bit embarrassing for lots of people but if you follow me on snapchat you'll know i don't hold back basically ever so today I'm here chatting to you about the trials and tribulations that us women have to face when it comes to hair removal. Now, now I have to say this video is not intended as meaning you have to get rid of your body hair. If you want to let it grow free, you do you. For me, body hair is something I do not want and I want my life to be as easy as possible when it comes to body hair. So let's rewind to about a year and a half ago, I discovered the magic that is waxing. I had always been a fan of the razor up until then, but when I discovered waxing, it was like a whole new world was open to me. Now I could go two or three weeks without having to worry about my body hair on my bikini line or on my underarms, and it was just amazing. When I switched from shaving to waxing, I noticed the ingrown hairs definitely reduced a lot but not completely. I still got a lot of ingrown hairs in my bikini area and also sometimes under my arms as well, which were particularly irritating. What I didn't enjoy about waxing was the fact that my hair growth is quite strong. Therefore, after about 10 days to 14 days, it was time to start covering up again because I had to bide my time until the next wax. So while for two weeks I might have been lovely and smooth, the next two weeks then were basically waiting to grow the hair out to get it to wax again. I wasn't showing any signs of weakened hair growth so that was kind of one of the things that I didn't enjoy about waxing and as I mentioned just a minute ago ingrown hairs. I was still getting ingrown hairs and they were wrecking my head. I hate ingrown hairs. Waxing works amazingly for some people but for me it wasn't the be all end all when it comes to hair removal so I decided to look into laser hair removal. Now I'd heard a lot about laser hair removal. I've heard some good stories but mostly bad stories to be honest of people who couldn't take the pain, people whose hair didn't really get reduced by it, people whose experience in the salons themselves was really poor. So I decided to look more into it. I was searching through forums where people were personally recommending where they've been and I found that Urbana came up trumps in a lot of these forums. People had nothing but good things to say about them. So Urbana have two salons, one in Dublin city centre in Wicklow Street and one in Drogheda, County Louth. Urbana use the most up-to-date machines called the Alexandrite machines. Those are expensive feckers. They're so expensive but they are literally the leading range of laser hair removal machines in the world currently. So you know you're getting the best of the best there. So I started off with my patch test. I went into Paula and I was actually quite nervous. I wasn't sure what to expect. So she patch tested one of my underarms and a patch in my bikini area. The night before or the morning of your treatment, you have to shave the area completely clean. You can have no stubble or fluff or fuzz or anything. So I went in completely clean and she started the treatment under my arms. Now the machine is pretty scary looking. I was like, oh my God. And then the noise you can hear coming from it. It's not crazy noisy, it's just... When you don't know what to expect, it can be quite scary. So there is the tool that does the laser, but the tool also blows out cold air on your skin, which takes away a lot of the heat and the pain. Now, how would I describe the pain? I know people have described it like this before, but it's so accurate. If you can just picture an elastic band flicking against your skin, but the elastic band is really, really, really hot. So if you can imagine when it flicks off your skin, you feel the heat and the kind of quick, sharp dart but when it's gone off your skin, you don't feel it anymore. That's basically how it is. So we did the patch test and everything was perfect. And Paula said she'd see me in a couple of weeks and we can start the proper procedure and treatment if there's no reactions. And for luck, I had no reaction, thank God. So I came back a couple of weeks later and we started my treatments. Now I have had four treatments, I think. And why didn't I do this? six or seven years ago. That is the only thing I regret was not doing this sooner. After my first proper treatment, I left or whatever and everything was fine. Afterwards, like it, the pain doesn't last and there's no tenderness afterwards, not for me anyway. Um, and about three or four days later, I noticed any of the hair that had grown out since the treatment started to kind of fluff away. It was like brushing off the skin. It was like it was broken. So I was like, okay, that's weird. So I shaved my armpits just to get rid of that. And obviously everywhere else. And I had no hair growth then for literally about two weeks. I was ecstatic. 
So I'm back to Paula and I was so excited because Paula had told me that you mightn't see results straight away. They can take a few sessions to show results, but I saw results immediately. And every single time I've gone back to have a session done, I'm getting longer and longer out of the hair reduction. For example, I had a treatment done, I think, three or four days before I went to America this year. I was in America for 22 days and I didn't have to groom once. Not once. If you were curious, I'm having my underarms and my bikini line done. I'm having a Hollywood, which means everything gone. I just, I'm just such a no muss, no fuss kind of gal. I just don't want any of it there. The only regret I have is not having my legs done too, but I have every intention of going back very soon and having my, my legs done also, which I will be paying for myself. Just saying. So I will be documenting my findings as I go through this entire procedure. I will leave Urbana's details in the description box down below along with the link to their Facebook and their website. Their website is so cool. Also, the treatments are very affordable. I know they were doing a deal up until recently. I'm not sure if they're still doing it. Half leg, underarm and any bikini for 130 euro. I think that is really good considering having those areas waxed would cost maybe 90 to 100 euro anyway and for an extra 30 euro you have permanent hair reduction. Another thing Paula also mentioned to me was people come in with these unrealistic expectations as well. They expect to come in, have five to six sessions and then never have a hair ever on their body ever again. That's not really the way it works. What it does is it more impairs your hair growth. Therefore, if you have a really strong growth, it will just kind of stunt the growth of your hair. So after I've had my sessions done, I think for me, it would probably take more like eight sessions to get really optimal results. And I reckon after eight sessions, I'll be able to return maybe once every 12 to 18 months to have the areas topped up. So yeah, I can't wait to see what my final results will be with Urbana and the laser hair removal. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything you'd like me to ask Paula and I'll be more than happy to do that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and stay tuned for the next video for sure because there will be a giveaway of laser hair removal. For transparency purposes, I will state that I emailed Urbana and asked them if they would be interested in working with me on this. So I said I would document my findings in a YouTube video and I would post a YouTube video on it and I would review the service. And they said, absolutely, brilliant. They'd love to work with me on it. So I did not pay for these treatments myself, but I am under no obligation to post a positive review. I have been talking back and forth with Paula, the owner of Urbana and she has only ever been completely open and honest with me. She did my treatments for me and she has never once indicated that I had to post a positive review. So everything I tell you is going to be 100% honest as I always am on my YouTube channel. I, I would never ever post a falsely positive review just to make a fast book. No, just, just not me.